It's a well worldly. Everything seems to be comfortably set up. I have the training room with absolutely no one in it. I allegedly have too many doctors, but most of them are tired. I've killed a patient, which is quite unfortunate indeed. Oh, I was in a rush mm. to hire additional personnel because there are queues to the GP offices are beginning to form up. So I need to lighten that load, preferably with actual consultants, not just people hanging out here because they are available. Unfortunately, this consultant is tired, so he needs to go to the rec room, as most of my guys do. Oh, this is the surgeon. It kept operating in spite of the necessity to add a um, necessity to stop. Oh, here's... Oh, this guy's queued up for the scanner, so I guess that's something I can take care of. So the situation is kinda dire. I have no one researching things because I cannot spell anyone. This guy is waiting to the slicer, but there are no doctors to help him out. Both of my doctors are here. Everyone else is just resting. Am I in debt at all? I am not. Well, can I afford to hire anyone? Oh, this guy is a consult. Yeah. I mean, hold on, how much am I making? Yeah, but this is the, the short term. As soon as these people are, are well, well rested, I'm spending more money than I am making. Technically, hiring one more person might not be the right thing to do. Although I can always file someone if I need to. So I do need to keep that in mind. Hold on, let me reposition this slightly. There we go. I mean, most of the time I have been making more money than I've been spending. But if I can get a consultant... This guy... This guy... Yeah, but he will be making me money, so I guess that's an argument I cannot pass up on. And besides, this surgeon... This surgeon is tired as... Look at all these guys! Just resting. This is unacceptable. But I do have too many doctors, apparently. I need to take care of this. This is just... This is just a tragedy waiting to happen. Five people queued up to the scanner. I, I need some of these people, even if they are tired. Even if. So tired. They will not be efficient at whatever they could be possibly doing. We for the amount of this guy is barely a doctor. This isn't. This is not promising. So many people, and they are gonna be dissatisfied. And if there are so many of them, an epidemic can break out, and I will not be able to handle it. Good up for all the things. <sighs> well, this guy is kinda okay. So let's, um... Let's put him here. So some people will be taken care of at least. And this guy isn't incredibly, overwhelmingly tired. So let's put him in the cardio room. Two people queued up, uh, queued up to the psychiatrist room. So I can pick up the psychiatrist and deal with that. I mean, I need to take care of this now. That's a good point. I do have too many patients, not doctors. But still, I don't want to get rid of patients. They give me money. This is... This isn't as bad as, as it could have been. How many handymen do I have anyway? Five of them. Almost all of them in the staff room. Sheesh. I think I actually do need yet another handyman. 
Because otherwise this will turn into a disaster. Waiting for cardio. Okay, this is gonna be taken care of. Best moment to have the VM VIP. Ugh. These guys are all taking care of the GP office, but what about the rest of... Uh, I am not over-diagnosing people, so that's good. Um, why is this at 60%? It should be at somewhere around 80. I don't know, let's put it at around 7. Uh, is it usually around? Uh, is it usually at 8? No, that's too much, but 60 seems like too little. Let's put it around 67. I need to take care of these people. So there are three people queued up here, zero people queued up here, alright, so what else? What else do I need to take care of? Well, people need a slack tongue clinic so I can move this guy. Doctor, please. Oh, great. They are allowed to leave rooms, so why isn't this working? I hope my people are... Efficiently resting because I will need them quite soon. <laughs> People queued up to the pharmacy? Unacceptable. Is she really needed here? Is she at all? She's needed everywhere else. She's needed in the pharmacy and she's needed in the... I do need more staff. This is getting out of, out of hand. I need to... I can, I can fire these people later on, but sheesh, I do need them now. Waiting for a GP office. I should have two consultants here, but my other consultant is tired as hell as far as I remember. Let's kill some of these people and be done with it. Oh. Well. to stem the tide of vomit. Well, at least I'm taking care of some people. People queued up to the GP office. This is getting out of hand. What the, what the hell am I supposed to do? Get a third GP office? I could get one over here or something. Yeah, I know. And you know what? 10 is the, 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 the maximum queue size. No, the max queue size is 6. Sheesh. Wait a minute, the maximum queue size receptionists should try to allow. So does this mean that people queued up for reception are the... Hmm. What the hell am I supposed to do? Are these people actually getting treatment? I need to take care of this. 
Warriors. Okay, the the vomit situation is more or less under control. What the hell? So many people, what? and all of them are—they uh, are upset. And to no one's surprise, really. Why are they all heading for the GP office? What is it with them? Maybe I should get a full GP office. This might actually help. More people are coming in. Oh, this is this is just. What's blocking the way? A bench. A rogue bench sitting there. Just... Wait. <sighs> Finally. Wait, this will end up blocking all the things. Not sure this is the right way to go about things. I could put a third GP office here. I mean, it sounds like a horrible idea. <laughs> We'd block almost everything off, but... Diffim would be so upset at this, but hey. You gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, I've got a third GP office. Oh, <laughs> oh that's good. If it works, it works, guys. Yeah, I'll tell him I I did what I had to do. I'm not proud of this, but it had to be done. No, seriously, this helps. That's all that matters. Surgeons to the operating theater. There are a few things I can do right now. Getting two surgeons to not be busy and help people is not among them. But I am making money like crazy. I should probably be expanding accordingly. Okay, I could hire more people, but these people are just so incompetent. Okay, so what what, what is it with the GP offices anyway? Get the hell out. Five people queued up. Two surgeons required in operating theater. I'm getting through this. Fall people here, fall people here, fall people here. I, I, I can't afford... Uh... Well, all my surgeons anyway. One of them is, surprise, surprise, at a GP office. And I only have two. The second one is busy over here and will be busy for quite a while. Why wouldn't he be with? Oh, considering pretty much everyone. Now, what is it with this guy? Let's take a chance. I don't. Oh. You must build a decontaminate. Oh, I don't have that. Whoops. Hold on. You get the patient to wait in the hospital for a while. <laughs> I sold it. Because I needed the money.
All right, what's the emergency? Can I actually handle an emergency in these circumstances? Let's think about this. Um, can I actually afford to move my surgeons and perform a single surgery? I mean, it wouldn't... A single surgery, okay? One surgery, that's it. People are incredibly annoyed. Well, sorry. Let's put a, let's put a junior here. Here, junior. Learn the hard way. I don't think I'm in, in a position to handle any sort of emergency, to be quite honest. <sighs> broken heart. We need to take care of the broken heart. It, it just has to be done. Let me check my psychologist really quickly, because if they are too tired to work, then any sort of psychi well, any sort of psychiatric emergency is still going to be a really far-fetched idea. Okay, let's check what the emergency is. Five people with sweaty palms. I can actually handle that because that requires a nurse and a pharmacy. I should probably have moved the pharmacies over here. I did not. I did not have the time to do that. I mean, I do have the time to do that now, so why the hell not? Let's get a goddamn pharmacy. Alright. Let's operate. I'm the patient with a broken heart. Yeah, these people are queued up to the GP office, what a surprise. I should probably have my researchers, you know, researching, actually improving the quality of my medicine, because otherwise people are gonna die thanks to this place. They will get the treatment, but they will just die horribly because of it. But look at this, I have managed to actually handle the, the vomit situation here, right? No more puke! Right, so these people are now needed elsewhere. Now that the consultant researcher surgeon is free, I should probably place him. I should have probably waited. God damn it! Let's put the junior somewhere. I don't know. Where is he needed? Make yourself useful. Why are people not queuing up over here? Psychiatrist, that's not ah uh, no. It's not the sort of thing where you need a, no, you need a psychiatrist here. Um, this is gonna end up in a disaster. I will not be able to handle this in time. Damn it! Cause it's a condition requiring a psychiatrist. Can I build a second psychiatric room in time and have these people go there and get handled by the second psychiatrist? Is this a possibility? I think I can, but uh, they would have to travel quite a long path. But this is my this is my best shot. Okay, I need to do this. Bear with me. 
Um, here's a couch. Here's a chair. Here's a screen. Here's a psychiatrist. I don't care, you're tired. I cannot care. I need to help these people. Here. Get. Help. From this guy. Well, I probably shouldn't have moved all of them. And I probably put... No, there are some benches over here. They'll, they'll manage. Single bench, bench wouldn't hurt. No! The stator! You'll need it! Funny thing is, I think I can handle this. I am handling this. This is amazing. She's waiting for cardio, uh huh? Two people off. God damn it, there's an emergency. Why are you leaving the room? Level of goddamn micromanagement. Whoa! She's about to die. I'm sending her home. This guy as well. I need more diagnostics equipment, but guess what? I am not in a situation to conduct more research. My researchers are either busy or tired. But I will take care of the emergency in time, surprisingly. A junior psychiatrist, just who I need. I mean, the consultant... The consultant researcher surgeon could help this guy quite a bit by educating him. Let's see if I can actually afford some training at this point. Alright, so this guy, the psychiatrist, he should probably rest if at all possible. Now what else? This psychiatrist is probably needed somewhere else. What he needed? What is this guy's a psychiatrist who also needs to rest? Sheesh. Suddenly my hospital is pretty much empty. single doctor here <sighs> manning the GP office and it's still fine all these guys are resting so where are my researchers I know one of my researchers is also one of my surgeons and he's busy teaching this guy who hopefully will become a researcher himself I mean I totally need to do this I don't need to train my people, otherwise this is going to be a disaster all of the time. So I should probably be able to afford some downtime. Especially since my people are suddenly not needed everywhere at once. What is my other researcher anyway? Oh, this is a guy. Oh, he's tired, of course.
can't hide any more researchers. We'll see in May now. May has come. I can get yet another consultant, which might not be the worst of ideas. You know, let's do that. It won't hurt. Now I have 11 doctors, which is not excessive for a hospital of this size. This guy... And I am making the money. So it's not a problem in the slightest. I have this guy to man the GP office. So that I don't have to worry about sending away my surgeons or my psychiatrists or not being able to train anyone. <sighs> Some people got upset and left. Some people got the treatment that they needed. Some people are in training right now. I absolutely... I absolutely need to change my policy so that people can go to the staff room earlier so that they will be efficient and happy. Doctor required an inflator room. I need one psychiatrist. This is one psychiatrist. system is just this is not good advice I do not have too many doctors I absolutely need these doctors like this researcher guy he needs to be here so that I can research all the stuff I need to research I mean I still don't have all the diagnostics equipment and my research when it comes to improvement and also getting my medicine up to snuff still not what it should be I am training one guy and that's locking up my resources, to put it that way. I need two surgeons for an operation um, on a broken heart. But one of my surgeons is tired and the other is training someone. But no, I will be told that I have too many doctors. I do not. I absolutely do not. Oh, this junior is... <laughs> this junior is amazing. He's like, I will man this GP office. It's for GP... Why is the consultant leaving? No, that's not what you should do. I'd rather put the junior here. You should stay here. Psychiatrist is so tired. One person queued up. I can't deal with all of this at once. Okay, this psychiatrist will be free. And the surgeon is pretty much happy, not tired anymore. I do need to take care of the heating situation, I guess. Oh, there are no radiators in the staff room. Let's place some goddamn radiators in this hospital. So I need the second surgeon, and for that I need to remove him from training, which is unfortunate. Whoa, four people need an operation. Yeah, we need to do this stat. Oh, this, this again. Uh, once again, I need all the people. Okay, the surgeons will take care of all the surgeries that's necessary here. 
I mean, this psychiatrist might as well help people while well, he's not in training. This psychiatrist can go rest because he'll be needed later on. This researcher, fortunately, is doing research. Now this research... How many psychiatrists? Well, else are people needed? One person needed here? Oh. What the hell, dude? Of all the places, the GP office is the one you need to be in. Where's he going? I know what will make people happy. Lands. So my consultant is busy here, decontaminating. Seriously, the GP office is a more important place for this guy to be in. I mean, come on now. Anyone can handle this. Okay, this guy is just a psychiatrist. Is the psychiatrist needed here? Well, no. Doctor, attending psychiatry, please. Apparently, there is. Okay, so let's place this psychiatrist over here. Now, is this the last surgery? Yeah, because when the surgery, when the final surgery is finished, I can take the consultant, surgeon, researcher. No. Not the final surgery. This is the money I'm spending, this is the money I'm making. I guess I'm fine. Eesh. Oh, well this explains a lot. Oh, right, there's pretty much nothing here, because I don't need this room. Sheesh. <sighs> Still not done. But I need my research conducted. It's just one guy doing all the research right now. That's okay. A researcher and a psychiatrist, and the junior at that. Let's put him here and have him do research. If I need a psychiatrist as an emergency, I can use him. Okay, is that it? No, that's not it. It's... Come on. What? Yeah, they left and suddenly they're back because they'll need it again.
What do you mean, what's going on? Look at this. Oh, man. Hold on, I can actually take care of this. Remember that VIP that arrived at my hospital when, when all the vomiting was going on, right? When, when everything was going to hell, when I was forced to throw people out, right? Remember that guy? He's like, this is a great hospital, amazing hospital. I like that place. Either way, the, the, the guy's been happy with everything. That's just that's just absurd. Now let's handle the epidemic like a man. I mean, I could just use my money to make it go away, but no. <laughs> exactly, very low expectations. Uh, an epidemic of infectious laughter. Nope, nope. Attempt to kill all infected patients. Of which there seems to be one. No, seriously, a single patient. <gasps> Guys, look at it. This is just brilliant. Have you seen that? Of all... How many people were infected? One. Where was that particular infected person? On hell way to get treatment. Look! She's over here, she's getting treatment, she's healthy now, it's over, the epidemic is over. What do you say to that? Pretty nifty, huh? I mean, with so few patients at that point, I was fairly safe. Okay, I will just... No! Why? Just can't catch a break. But I need a surgeon, though. Yeah, but he has to repair the equipment, so apparently I can't put a surgeon in... I need both of my surgeons again, because the surgery needs to get performed. But I also want to teach. Ah, I really want this guy to be the teacher and to just impart his knowledge upon another guy so I can have a third surgeon. It's just this little goddamn dream of mine of having a third surgeon so I don't have to use these guys all the time. But nope! Compensation, great. My reputation is great, I have a lot of money, now I need to be extremely careful. Now guys, if you notice anything out of line, anything that's not right, just immediately tell me. If I mess up again, I'll be quite upset with myself. This needs to be taken care of, it needs to be taken care of properly. Is there any malfunctioning machinery that's in bad shape that I need to take care of? Anything at all. The scanner really needs to get repaired. This was just repaired a moment ago, so that's not an issue. There's machinery over here. It's in decent shape. Okay, if the... If the... <laughs> yeah, maybe that's exactly the... As long as there are no more surgeries that I need to perform right now, I will absolutely take one of the surgeons... Actually, I... How much are you willing to bet that I need surgeons to take care of this emergency? How much are you willing to bet? Six people with serious radiation. Oh, I can take care of this. I don't need a surgeon for that. Okay, so... Um, I'm saving before this because I know that the game likes to crash if you do this. 
And I will try to take... Oh shit, shit! No! The game pretty... No, the game will... No, 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 no. If you try to pick up a surgeon as he's in the process of changing clothes, or as he's about to change clothes, the game just crashes. So I've reloaded a save for that reason. I need to let these guys switch their clothes manually. Switch the clothes, that's that's so contrived. No, change the clothes. Switch. As if. It's not even contrived, it's just just unnatural. But you know, it, it's not a foreigner thing, it was just the wrong sort of intuition. Switch into uh, a different sort of attire, and a different set of clothes. No, it's still changed into clothes, goddammit. Switch... There has to be a way in which using switch in that context would make sense. It's almost always change into. God damn it. Can it ever be switched into? Well, either way. Aside from, oh. <laughs> Look at this. This is the guy, by the way. The guy. He's the consultant, surgeon, researcher of my hospital. He's got it all. He is supposed to be training someone, but his tiredness level at this point is borderline. He's borderline tired enough that he should actually go and rest, but he's about to go somewhere and help someone else. Either way, he's tired enough that he will be of no use when it comes to training. Yeah, but do you actually say switch into? I mean, yeah, I was about to say that as switch into a different uh, sort of sort of attire, but still, is it, it doesn't sound natural, right? Change into, change into a different set of clothes, change your attire, not switch. I mean, switch suggests that there are like two states. I mean, actually, it makes a lot of sense in this game, right? Because there are two states. He can be in the doctor attire and the surgeon attire. He switches between them. So in the context of the game it makes a lot of sense, but it's just thinking in gamey terms instead of thinking in real world terms. Yeah. That is, I suddenly lose the analogy and start speaking about the game itself. That's why it sounds unnatural, because we are not dealing with something absolutely natural here. This guy shouldn't be in here. He shouldn't be pretty much anywhere. No, 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 no. Did this guy just... I'd better make a safe state. It seemed like the guy was just... flipping through the wall, but then again, this is a 2D game, so... I have to have this guy well rested. Which is unfortunate as hell, but what you gonna do? Two people to take care of the emergency here. No, Doc! Doc, no! Every time! Come 
Come on, Doc. Just stay in there. Sheesh. No, you too, Doc. And pretty much every time there's a goddamn emergency, this happens. They absolutely need they absolutely need to leave precisely at the moment they are needed the most. So upsetting. And they insist you put them back in. No, they have to move out. They just have something a lot more important. And they need to take care of it. At precisely that moment. Okay, this is a psychiatrist. This is a psychiatrist as well. This guy is a... What the hell is going on? What is wrong with the world? This guy is a, psych is a surgeon. Get him out of here. This is... I have two surgeons and he's one of them. Why is he here in the first place? No! Both psych both goddamn psychiatrists are here. Why? A third psychiatrist is here. A full psych I have I have quite a few psychiatrists, I guess. My consultant researcher surgeon is no longer tired, so I should probably be educating people. Guess what? I should be educating my psychiatrists. Actually, the one psychiatrist I have and Oh! This guy is almost a researcher. He's on his way to... I'm totally educating him. He screw everything. He's getting educated. I would like to educate these psychiatrists here, but... Might not be the best of ideas right now, considering the circumstances. But with a consultant here, I think I should be able to handle things with only two people in GP offices instead of all three being men. So let's put another guy here. Oh boy. Yeah, this guy is needed here. Amazing. And let's sell one of one of these rooms because I don't need two of them at all times. <laughs> right when something happens, the dark disappears. My machines are allegedly falling apart. You know what? It's actually not that big of a deal. I promised myself I would do this and God damn it I will. How many times has this been used? 23. Let's say 30 is the number. So I should... Let's say 20 is the number. It's been used 25 times. Well, guess what? Let's replace the, replace the hardware for a thousand dollars. It's cheap as hell. It's really cheap. Having it blow up, not so cheap. 30 times, yes, let's replace it. Um, now it's been used zero times. Let's replace this as well. Well, it's been used six times, let's not overdo it. Two times, uh, no. Costume over 20 times. Well, alright. Now it should be fine. People are queued up to the GP offices, and as long as I can redirect them to other ones, I think I should be fine. Oh, I still need the surgeons in the operating theater. What a huge goddamn surprise. Okay, this guy is one of the surgeons. He just got out of the rec room, so I'll put him here. And now I need the second surgeon, because guess what? I only have two! In spite of the fact that I want to train more, 
I am doing my goddamn best to train another surgeon, but it's just not happening. I mean, this guy is learning quickly. 57% of the way there, still not there. He's almost a researcher though, almost. I mean, this guy is so promising. Because he will get all three specializations, and eventually he will become a consultant himself. So as long as he gets the right sort of education, he could educate all of my juniors and everything. But that will never happen. As time and time again I was able to see... He, he's just been promoted. As time and time again I've been able to see, it, it's, just, it's just pretty much impossible. The moment you can actually train people the way you want them to, the level is over. $12,000 is a bonus, just like that. Sheesh. Are you ready for this? Take care of the epidemic. An epidemic of sleeping illness. I might have to pay 30000 Nope, I'm gonna attempt to cure all the patients. Squeak, 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 mofos. Alright, so I need my nurses. To take care of these things. Dental diagnosis. Uh. No more training, I guess. These guys are. I will be training them again at some point. Two surgeons. Hold on, what happened? Dude, get back there. Please. Now let's hope no one leaves. Oh, oh, this is taking care of the pharmacy. At the pharmacy, of course. Wait a minute. Let's make a safe state just in case because I've seen some weird odds. No, god damn it! She's too tired, of course she's tired. What about this? Seriously? I'm not gonna just. Fine, let's get yet another nurse. Because this needs to be taken care of. This is no laughing matter. Nurse. Here. Yeah. Too many nurses. This is so annoying. What happened? Where did the other nurse go? Why is she? Wait, no, that's the nurse from. The... What the hell? One is resting. Second one is resting. What the... No! No! Bad nurse! It's like, holy shit, just get in there! Of all the places! No! Like, where are you even going? No! These goddamn people. Someone else needed an... What's she waiting for, by the way? For the ward? Yep.
Well, they are somewhat tired, but not exceedingly so. Is that the last patient? Might be the final patient of this epidemic. Is it over? Nope, there's this guy. I can't just in a console. Ah, fine. No, oh, this is this is unfortunate. I do need to take care of this and quickly. No, 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 no! You should be queued up before anyone else. Well, is he going? He's getting a drink. Of course he is. Why is he even queued up? Okay, he's next in line. Oh, jeez, this is... Where is he going? No! Oh, he's queued up over here. This just might not end up in my face. Is he going to the pharmacy now? Because if he's not, I'm screwed. No, why the what? What? No! This makes no sense. He went out. He, he went out. He went. What? Why? No! Why would you do that to me? And it was going so well! If the earthquake ruined any of my equipment, I'm gonna be royally pissed. <sighs> this bastard. He was in line. Yes! 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 Don't you fucking uh, leave this pharmacy! Help this guy! <sighs> and they are fining me $6,000? That's it? Oh, because there was a single guy! I guess that's kind of fell. He was about to get killed, look at this! And that's it! I was so close! And of course, as always, because he decided to go to the bathroom at the very last second. Had that not happened, everything would have been fine. Okay, now let's take care of everything else. By the way, if all the people are queued up to have surgery, so that means that my consultant surgeon will be busy for quite a goddamn while, and then he will be too tired to teach people. Brilliant, isn't it? There's no one at any of the GP offices. No one. Not a single goddamn person. Both the consultants are over here, taking care of minor bullshit that can be taken care of by pretty much anyone.
Yeah, it's, it's, it's always that. I mean, maybe not always, but most of the time, it's so annoying. Let's issue an invitation to the VIP. My hospital is in tip-top shape. My reputation has... My reputation has theoretically been hit. It's at 906, right? The maximum is a thousand. I'm doing... I need to take care of my machines. If they are actually in suboptimal shape, I need to have all of this repelled. The earthquake just messed everything up. Let's just replace this. This is so cheap to replace. If any of my machines blow up, I'm going to be... I'm going to be quite upset and I'm going to be quite screwed because then I'll have to move all of my equipment to a room next to the room. Just be a disaster. So let's fix everything before that happens. Let's prevent this from ever being an issue. Psychiatrist is busy doing all the things he's... Everyone is tired. Are they at least on their way to not being tired anymore? Well, kinda, I guess. Some of them. Because the tiredness of my doctors should be somewhat staggered, don't you think? If they all get tired at the same point, there's no point in having redundancy. Then again, if they all manage to get tired at the same time, I do not have redundancy. Because otherwise they will not be getting tired. Working. Okay, so one more person. One more operation. Need to kill more people, get a higher value, and get more money. This is absolutely doable. Look at how happy people are. Look at the happiness level. It's bask in the glory. Hall of Fame, first place. Highest all value, most visitors, highest kill count, lowest death count, highest salary, and I am the richest. I am the best at everything. And of course, apparently my machines are falling apart, which is bizarre, but okay. I have sold quite a few canned drinks. I have built the highest reputation. My hospital is very clean. I had an impressive kiss to death ratio. And I get a cash bonus for having the best reputation. It's just amazing. I can do whatever the hell I want. I'm making so much money, by the way. I could absolutely afford to get another guy. Like this guy. He's a psychiatrist. I can absolutely educate him in the art of being a surgeon and a researcher as soon as this guy, the consultant surgeon researcher, is free. Which he should be in a moment. And then I will begin the training. Apparently having three GP offices is absolutely crucial at this stage. You need them. You absolutely, you absolutely do, because without them you just cannot handle the load. There's so many people coming in. I mean, I, pro I probably could with two. Only two of them are men at this point, so apparently it's not all that necessary. Okay, so this is the consultant researcher surgeon who's heading somewhere, but I have a better idea. Look, look buddy, you are needed here. You need to teach these people. He's another psychiatrist. Like teach him. Impart upon him your amazing knowledge and... Okay. This guy absolutely needs the education.
Makes me wonder, should I actually micromanage so heavily? Is this the way the game is supposed to be played? Just, just <laughs> putting guys into rooms manually all the time? That's the way it's supposed to be. Uh, I, I actually don't have enough doctors. I need to move some of them. Of course, yet another occasion where I need the surgeons in the operating theater, but cannot afford to do so. I need more surgeons! Only this guy could actually teach them. Whether they could become surgeons themselves. 61%, that's not enough! What about this guy? 9%. And this guy at 6%. But I need to at least try. <sighs> and the there is, of course, an emergency. Have I researched anything like the blood machine or something? No. Not yet. Because I need my researcher. And you know who my main researcher is? The guy who is teaching them. He's the researcher, psychiatrist, consultant. All right, question time. Can I handle this? This requires surgery. There is already at least one person queued up for surgery, so I would have to shuffle them up. But do you think my people can actually handle three surgeries? Yes or no? Okay, another question. Should I do this? I mean, this bonus is nothing. It's peanuts. It's mostly a matter of ambition. Should I take this? What do you mean? Saying, of course not. I mean, this will, this will give me additional surgery that I and surgery is the last thing I want. What am I thinking? Yeah, should I be ambitious and take this completely unnecessary risk that can bring me pretty much absolutely no reward at all? What is the best result? I actually succeed in conducting these surgeries. I am stuck with the two surgeons I have, and I am stuck with very tired surgeons. No, I have enough surgery to do as it is. There are like two surgeries I will need to perform very soon, and this guy is supposed to be teaching them. This is the sort of high-risk, low-reward situation that you absolutely should not go for. What, 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 what was the, even the point considering it? I don't think it's even a matter of greed. I mean... It's not even a matter of risk-taking, because, you know, I get it. Some people are more inclined to act in high-risk, high-reward situations. Some people are more inclined towards low-risk, low-reward situations. But this was a high-risk, low-reward situation. Why would you do that? Why would you ever consider it? No. I mean, yeah, I need to take care of these surgeries because, hey, I can't just send these patients home. I mean, I could, but I don't want to. Oh, boy. Again, people are queuing up to the GP office because I only have... No, I have three of them, man. This is a doc... No, this is... This one is empty. Well, well, my consultants. And why are they not where well, they are needed the most? Are they all tired? Well, are the consultants? A consultant in the GP office, very well. A consultant here, yeah, but that's the consultant surgeon. A consultant here, that's not the way it should be. A consultant here in general diagnostics. Okay, be done with it. Okay, paid up. Now he's here. One guy was at the x-ray, I think? No, at the scanner. And sorry for just obsessively making these save states, but I know this game all too well. I know what happens if you don't save early enough. If you don't save often enough, the game will just crash. Whoa, this is getting 
out of hand. Fortunately, I have consultants on the job. I mean, taking care of this. And this is not even such a huge part of the pie that I... Look at this. Look at it closely. I don't know, zoom in. Because what, what you see here is extraordinary. As far as I can tell, the marker is not even at the edge of the, of the thing, right? It has gone beyond. So far to the right, it's actually out of the scale. Okay, people are so happy. There's just pretty much no expressing it on the scale. It's beyond the green area. They are just euphoric. And this is all, I need my doctors at all the places, so what should I do? I mean, I wanted to teach all of these guys, but I also need my doctors to take care of myself. So, should I take some of them away from training? Okure. Let's take Okure and place him here. As soon as this surgery is done, I don't think there's anything else queued up, so this guy will go back to teaching. I mean, this is one of the... No! I'm sorry, buddy. Never gets any easier. Oh, no. No. Not another set. No! Every time! How much are you willing to bet that after all these surgeries, my consultant surgeon researcher will be too tired to teach? A poorly run and badly staffed equipped hospital. Why are you leaving? Oh, he, oh, it's done. It's done. Hold on. No, you're not going to the cardiogram, silly. That's for the simpletons. A new blood machine has been researched. Finally! So that means even more places will I, I will have to send my people in spite of not wanting to. Wait, what? Yes. Is there a bench around here or something? Oh no, it's the VIP. Fine. I mean, this placement is not ideal, but then again... Could have been worse. Why didn't I... Why didn't I move this? I can just move the operating theater and suddenly everything will make a lot more sense. A lot. Also, I can move the pharmacy down somewhere else. No, that pharmacy stays. That pharmacy stays. I need it for the things I need this pharmacy for. But still, um, I can just move the toilets, move the blood machine. As long as this just moves out of the bloody way, I can place... Um, Let's just, let's just move everything. This can go here, so this can go here, so this can stay around here. Everything will be just fine. All I need to do is move this. So let's do it. How much space does it take anyway? Can I afford to put it here? Let's just try to fit it in. 
Yeah, absolutely. It fits in perfectly, like a goddamn glove. So hold on, watch this. Oh, and I cannot scroll too greedily, otherwise the game will do horrible things to my cursor. For no apparent reason, as we have previously discovered. But let's do this. This is the sort of placement you need, because you need to have space on the left, because that's where the patient and the, and the doctor need to be. need a few benches here as well, although not too many. I mean, let's not go overboard. And now that I have moved that, I can move the x-ray over the hill and move the GP office down here. Isn't that a lot neater? I mean, I will be able to get rid of this tight corridor as soon as I move these things out of the way. And people will be queuing up to the GPP office around here. Finally. Okay, let's do this. No, stop trying to enter the GP office and don't crash the game! Um, let's actually make the entrance from the from the top. Sorry. <laughs> the top. Yeah, let's call it that. Why not? From the top left, I guess. Because making the entrance from the same side as the other entrances would just make matters even worse. That's a lot more space for everyone. So I should probably move the blood machine, the toilets? Should I move the toilets? Probably. I mean, they need to be, they need to be so accessible to everyone at any point. Because that's where they will be headed. Fortunately. <sighs> Just to annoy me. I should also probably put them around here as well. Just so it won't become a nuisance to everyone when people need to go though. From the other side of the hospital. Alright, so I need someone to take care of this GP office. Sixty-eight percent, so it's getting better. Sixteen percent, which is unfortunate, but hey. And one guy, unfortunately, is manning the GP office. Oh no, oh no, oh no. It's happening. People are queuing up for a reception. This can end up in a disaster.
What do I do? It's not that there's an enormous queue to the GP offices. That's not it. Well, in that case, see you, knight. Hold on, I don't even have... Why did no one tell me? Yeah, I know, for, for why, why, why did not, why didn't anyone tell me that the chat isn't just the... A second desk. Well, that's a, that's a good solution. But is it a bottleneck of any salt? Is it actually? No, I don't like the... Yeah, see ya. This is one of the things that pisses me off the goddamn most. It just, it shouldn't have ever happened. That's not the way the game should work, but it's happening anyway. Because these people are just queuing up for the reception. So let me make... One more goddamn safe state. And let's think about this. Five people are queued up for the reception. What the hell does that even mean? Maybe I should pick up this goddamn radiator and maybe things will be done with it by that point. Maybe that's all I needed to do. Four people queued up for reception. Is that helping? Okay, so this guy suddenly queued up to the GT. That, that helped, I think. I think it actually helped that I moved the goddamn radiator. It's the weirdest of things. But these people are still queued up for a reception. Some of them. Okay, it's... It's manageable. It's just a huge swell of people. I just need to take care of all of them. Right the hell now. And it'll be fine. It will all be fine. As long as I can take care of this. If I could only get a second surgeon, I would be free to... I just need uh, a second surgeon, a third surgeon. What am I talking about? As long as I can get the, the third surgeon. And the consultant shouldn't even be handling these sort of issues. Why is he here handling it? And there's a regular doctor here and a psychiatrist here. An extremely tired psychiatrist hand handling things over there. And a consultant handling the x-ray. No, that's not how we do things around here. This guy should go... Anyway, basically, and this guy should handle the GP office. Now, if you could actually implement these sort of auto-management rules that only consultants handle the GP office, that would be great. By the way, this might be deadly. A strain of uncommon cold. Let's try to do my best. I know I need the pharmacy for that, and that's absolutely within the realm of possibility. I mean, the fact that the fact that I can actually kill people with my pharmacy because I have enough nurses, etc. That's absolutely doable. Okay, let's attempt to kill all infected patients. It'll be tough, but it can be done. I just need all of my nurses on duty and taking care of all the things that need to be taken care of. So this nurse that is not tired in the slightest should probably... I keep wanting to say inoculate. Um, vaccinate, of course. She should vaccinate everyone she can. 
Of course, inoculate absolutely is, a, is the proper term, but it's just ancient. Let's move this researcher psychiatrist. <laughs> yes, yes, that's the that's the point. I mean, it's weird how it works in this game because basic. I don't know what she's doing. Maybe she's handling out. Maybe she's handing out paper masks or something, because she just approaches them, and then makes them not spread the infection. But they are still not healthy. So if they were ill beforehand, she would not be inoculating. She would not be vaccinating them because that would be kind of redundant, wouldn't it? Like they already have that this sort of thing in them. The, the immune system's reaction should already be there. So what is she doing to them exactly? She's somehow preventing the spread of the infection. Probably paper mask. That's the best guy I can come up with. I don't know. It's the icon of a frog for crying out loud. Yeah, but what? It wants. In what sense would this be considered quarantine? They are still moving around other people. They are just not spreading the infection for some reason. I'm sticking with the paper mask theory. Best thing I can come up with so far. I mean, as far as I remember, the manual says it's vaccination, but that makes very little sense now, doesn't it? I mean, from a logical standpoint, she shouldn't be vaccinating the guys that have it, she should be vaccinating everyone else. That would make sense. Yeah, artistic license and all that. I should probably rearrange all the people that need rearranging, because... I need the infected people... ...to get help as quickly as possible. Oh, come on! Not again! Well is the... Well is the guy... Oh, the guy is tired. Well, he cannot teach and he cannot perform surgery right now. Cure to the GP of <laughs> I just love how I have benches arranged in such a way. It makes no sense at all. Because he's at the end of the line. No! Why is him in the front, goddammit? <sighs> now these consultants, two consultants and a doctor. And she's heading to the world. That's not not the sort of thing I wanted to have happened. Doctor required in general diagnosis. Nurse required in pharmacy. This guy's on the way to general diagnosis, so I need someone there to take care of him, so I should probably Yeah, let's pick pick these guys up. They're useless anyway. And for all I care, then they can be tired later on. 
Let them help some people. Dog, come on, man. Oh, this guy is finally, finally seeking treatment. No, he's buying a drink first. handle this screw the diagnosis let's just help the guy sheesh actually I should probably do this with most of them Where's he going anyway? Oh, finally, the pharmacy. Alright. No, no. Where are you going? No, don't tell. No! Not again! God damn it! Every time! Oh, that's devious, but I, I like the idea. Of course, having no bathroom would just force them to, to stay there. Because they would have nowhere to go. <laughs> Brilliant. I mean, that's absolutely a savage sort of solution, but I like it. It would work. Well, hold on, why is the nurse... Why is the nurse not helping people? Oh, these people are waiting for the operating theater. What a goddamn surprise that is. And this is my... Surgeon? Oh, this guy's back to teaching. Fortunately, he's needed elsewhere. Okay, can I actually handle this? I don't think I can. Ah. <laughs> Come on, so close. No, don't go buy a drink! Of course she had to go and buy a drink, because why not? It's almost taken care of, almost. This guy is waiting for his, for his turn, right? I mean, look, this guy will get killed, no problem. It's only this, this woman here. Is she heading towards the pharmacy? If she is, we might just... Yes! She's on her way to the pharmacy, look at this. This guy is getting treatment right now. I can theoretically make it. She just needs to reach the pharmacy in time. Before I get the announcement, she just needs to get treatment in time. No! 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 Well, that's it. She just needed to go to the pharmacy. There was still time. There was absolutely still time. I get penalized 6,000 for the single person that has unfortunately brought me this. Single get them person. Frustrating. 
so frustrating. Because I absolutely had the right idea, it still didn't work. Let's move the toilets over here so people don't have far to go. I mean, these are the sort of small improvements I can still make. You know, a reasonable person would probably just just give up at this point, just figure it's not worth it. But I'm not that sort of person. I mean, let's check the equipment first. It's fine. Okay, let's do this. 9,000! If I fail... I mean, not if I fail, if I actually declare it. If I fail, it will be double, most likely. So it's probably three people. Let's attempt to kill all infected patients. Yeah, it's, th it's three people. So it's 3,000 times a person. And if you fail, it's 6,000 times the number of people. That's it. I'm really confident this will work. Seriously. Let's send this guy to cure immediately. Just screw the diagnosis. I know what's wrong with him. Just send him to the pharmacy. Okay? He's on his, way, on his way to the pharmacy. He's getting the treatment. And it'll be over. Done. Over. Taken care of. No, this, look! Look! You're three seconds behind me, so you should probably see it quite soon. I have absolutely taken care of it, no problem. Why is a consultant in here of all places? God damn it. Meanwhile, oh, here's a consultant, here's a, here's a regular doctor, that's not right. Nine hundred and fourteen. That's a decent reputation to have. I look at this mess. I would really like this guy to go back to teaching, but guess what? He's busy. This cannot be done. How the hell am I supposed to take care of all of this? Two more surgeries. Two more surgeries to perform, and at that point he will be tired. Actually, he will not be tired beyond belief. He will still be somewhat tired, but still capable of teaching somewhat. So many patients. Jeez. Okay, so this is a consultant, this is a doctor, which is unfortunate. I need more competent people. <sighs> 
13 doctors. Which seems like a decent number. Let's get a researcher, a junior researcher, because why the hell not? If I need to, I can always file them. Oh, there's a queue to this GP office, and there's no one the This consultant needs to be there. What about this guy, this researcher psychiatrist? Why can't he handle this? One more person. Well, that's why I should perform... Oh, oh crap. That's why I should perform my research. I think I just need the ultra scan and I'll be done with it. Hmm. <sighs> At this rate, I should actually be able to win quite soon. I mean, as soon as I research the ultra scan, get it, some additional things, I don't know. I just need a tiny bit more money and to kill more people. And with the enormous amount of patients visiting my hospital, I mean, look at this mess. So many people need treatment. And so many people are getting treatment over here. I should probably move the blood machine, let's you know. Is it over? Doctor required in GP's office. It's not over, I just need one more surgeon. Now where is that surgeon? Is he too tired to perform his... <sighs> I need to find the surgeons. Of course this guy just went to the cardiogram, because why the hell not? See, this just, this just gets me every time. Yeah, we need someone at the cardiogram, but for crying out loud, does it have to be one of the only two surgeons I have? Oh, great, there are two more surgeries to perform. Two more surgeries. As soon as I perform the, uh, the two additional surgeries, I'll be done with it and the consultant researcher surgeon can begin once again teaching people. Can begin, well. Begin is too proper of a term, because he hasn't been doing this for an eternity, pretty much. I've been thinking about him doing it, but... I need more people. Ooh, look at it. Look at it. Love it. One more consultant to handle my GP offices. Okay, and an emergency. Four people with Hariatis. I'm absolutely capable of handling it. I mean, four people? That's nothing. 
I'll put a single consultant here and it's done. Is this the final procedure? Like, is this the last surgery that needed to be performed? Certainly hope so. Okay, no one waiting in line. Can I actually pick this guy up? Get him out of here? Have him do something useful? Like, have him teach? Finally? Because that would be great. Okay, now we need to find the people I've been trying to teach. Great, this guy is almost a surgeon, but he's tired. How tired is he? Tired as... Does the guy know? Almost not tired at all. Screw it, just take him out of here. Have him learn. What else? Actually, that's the most important one. This guy... Kinda on his way. How tired is he? Is the guy... Oh, he is tired as hell, so I, I probably should leave him alone. Having at least one person learn something will be quite nice. I'll probably need to take one of my consultants away from handling the GP offices, which might not sound like the best of ideas, because it is not the best of ideas, goddammit. But I still need someone to take care of the emergency. Because the psychiatrist is tired. Ooh. Oh no 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 no! I'm buying a new one. By the way, this makes almost no sense. Why is she saying maintenance required in jelly vats? Like, what? What is that even supposed to... <sighs> oh, this is the machine! Oh, wrong room! And I placed a consultant here, whereas this is taken care of by a research... <sighs> Here's the consultant. Yeah, it should be fine. By the way, poly run. Yeah, right. By the way, I can't let anything explode. If anything explodes, it's pretty much game over for me. I need a psychiatrist, and this guy's on his way to the GP office. Nope. Help people. No! Okay, just one more guy, right? Okay, this will be fine, although cutting it close. Oh, by the way, this guy is a surgeon now. So he can absolutely handle the surgery. Actually, now that I have three surgeons, this opens up an amazing workflow. I can send the two regular surgeons over here, while this, the surgeon as a consultant can continue teaching people. 
Of course, in an ideal situation, I would prefer the guy that knows everything to be trained enough to be a consultant, and once he becomes a consultant, I would love for the guy to train other people. But I do not have the luxury of doing that, I do not have the time to accomplish it. And this guy is too tired to continue his education. Uh, what about this guy? Yeah, let's pick him up, drop him over here. Same with this guy. What a storming hospital! Reputation has been improved. 931. See, this is horrible. I do not have too many doctors. Not in any way. I absolutely either have enough or even, or, or even less than that. For instance, I need the second surgeon. Is he available? Or well, maybe. No, he's at one of the GP offices. And he's so tired, but there's a surgery he has to perform. And there are people queued up for surgery. So I need someone for the GP office. I need also someone for... People are starting to queue up for reception. It's just... And this guy is tired as all hell. But I allegedly have too many doctors. Nope. all these people. Once they become surgeons, my situation will be a lot simpler. I mean, at this point, I'm not under extreme pressure. I can take this guy away if he's needed. Yeah, that's a good point. If, if they are unoccupied at any given point, that's just because they can no longer perform any sort of task with any sort of degree of Competence because they're tired as hell. Just look at this. There's a queue of people, this is an enormous line, and I need the other surgeon because this guy he's out of it. He just he just can't hack it anymore. But this guy is also extremely tired. When he leaves. Oh, he's, oh no, this guy actually wants to go to the decontamination to handle other things. No, he should be resting. This is always the goddamn bottleneck. Always the surgeons. But hold on, I have three surgeons now, which is relief. It's, it's totally a relief. Because now, if I can let this guy rest... And he's resting very efficiently, by the way. I can take one of the guys from here and replace him. Look at this line! Sheesh! Okay, one comes out, one comes back in. And the GP offices also need to be kept running. All three of them at the same time. Because otherwise I would just not be efficient enough. And somehow, this is still working. I need one more person running a GP office, so I need one doctor to run the This is a consultant, he's kinda tired, oh he's very tired. But he can still do this. 
And these people, of course, don't have the teacher because the teacher is busy performing an operation. Okay, one more surgery. Come on. We do need someone at the Slack Town Clinic, but then again, we cannot afford that. A regular doctor here should be replaced by a consultant. Unfortunately, that's not happening. A consultant here is unnecessary. He's going to a Slack Town Clinic, but you know what? I've got a better idea. Hold on. Alright, this guy goes here, this guy goes here. Where is this guy going? Is he tired? Oh, he is. This guy a consultant yet? Why is he here then? Okay, I need to remember. There's a consultant handling the cardio. Oh no, I don't have a... I need... I need one more surgeon. The consultant researcher surgeon here is tired as hell, so... Wait a minute. Where's the third surgeon? I had a replacement, right? Oh, of course! At the X-ray. More of a <laughs> Yes. I mean, in some games, if you do not micromanage them, they still happen to work quite well. But here, these people are just hopeless. They are completely clueless when it comes to... Doctor, attend immediately in cardio, please. ...taking the sort of task they should be performing. Okay, so this guy's going to the cardio ground. There we go. That's something I can get behind. So one consultant here, one consultant there. Don't go to the slack town clinic, please. I need one more doctor here. Wait, hold on. I think I've gotten rid of... The... Yes, I think I have actually solved the problem. Okay, so these guys are operating. Four people are awaiting surgery. Can you say just... Whoa, hold on. I think my stream just died on me. But fortunately, the good news is it's reconnecting. And also the good news is I have it set up so when it stops streaming, the recording keeps going on. So if you are watching this from the recording on YouTube, not a problem for you. However, if you are the single person watching this live, I should have been reconnected by this point. So. So, Obagava, can you hear me? Because you probably should right now. Yeah. I've set it up so that the, the recording will be uninterrupted, even if the stream dies on me. So three surgeries left. It's like every goddamn time. Nurse 
So people, people are queued up for quite a variety of things, and then there's a consultant here not doing much of anything. Oh, someone is actually, actually upset enough to leave. Well, they search a psychiatrist. I mean, this guy should probably... Oh, there's no one queued up here. I mean, this guy could actually perform some research for me. Wait a minute, do I have something like the Atom Analyzer? Why? And I have all the money I could possibly desire and I still haven't placed this. But still, look at this. I forgot the Atom Analyzer even though I had the possibility of placing it a long time ago. It would have sped up research significantly, but nope. Completely forgot about it. And I had so much money for such a long time. It's an obvious improvement. People are getting annoyed while well, why would they be annoyed with anything? If people are annoyed, I will just place I will just keep placing plans until they stop being annoyed. Isn't that the solution to all problems? More plans. Here, here's a plant. Are you still annoyed? In Hall of Fame, yet again. First place in everything, yet again. My machines are falling apart, of course. Killed many rats, of course. I sold many soft drinks. Um... Best reputation. Best reputation. Cures to death ratio. Amazing. Clean hospital is a safe hospital. Amazing. I have it all. And I think at this point I should probably take a break. Because everything is running absolutely smoothly. Everything is fine. I do not want to lose focus and screw up at this point. It's just going too goddamn well. And besides, it's been two hours anyway. So I might as well take a break.